that one's holding okay that's a used one this is a pro vent <clears throat> these are uh, dual seal 20s double sealed air admittance valves let's see how this one does See that? So the problem I have with these, now hold on, I'm not done, because that was open, out of the package. Sealed package, brand new. Sealed package, okay. Sealed, brand new, never been opened. This one's never been used. Let's see. bigger one two inch let's try another one Not a two inch. <laughs> Let's try an inch and a half. Sealed package. Okay. Never been opened. I don't know if this helps anybody at all. Description, barcode. So we've been having some problems with some motors in the house and I think it's coming from these air admittance valves so I'm going to show you a solution in video number two I'm just showing you the problem that I'm seeing here we go That one's working. Let's try this one. Load back up again. So the problem is if these don't seal, See, light pressure, light amount of pressure, and they don't seal all the time. And I have an issue with that. Um, we should have four of these and three of these. Uh-oh. I'm not going to be able to get them all done tonight. These are two inch, yeah. Okay, so, but anyway, I'm not gonna try and wrap my lips around these two inch ones. But so the issue that uh, you have, I have with these, they don't always seal, and under low pressure, um, any of the air it's mittens valves can can leak. So if you have exhaust or uh, uh, fumes coming up through your plumbing it's going to wind up getting through these it's going to seep through these now if you have a pr pressure coming up through the plumbing system it'll cause them to seal in most cases but you saw it was blowing pretty hard on that one that was failing pretty bad and it wasn't sealing so i'm not sure if these require some humidity for these seals from the pipe the humidity gets in and causes seals to, to seal better um, but we've been hearing some hissing coming out of them so uh you know it is what it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an adapter and we're going to take and we're going to drill holes around the outside of these cheaper 
air admittance valves that already exist in the home. And then we're going to slide this down over the top where it will breathe through these holes that I'm going to make. And then we're going to put the new valve on top. So it's going to be a triple valve, a single valve here and a double valve here. And that should solve the problem. Now, for instance, you're going to have air admittance valve in your kitchen sink. When you hit your garbage disposal, it's going to spit food and debris up into that air admittance valve, in, in our experience, and cause the seal to get dirty. So you, you should pull these out and clean these seals anyway. So my thinking is even if the seal fails on this first air admittance valve, it's going to block the, the contaminated water from getting up into the double sealed valve here, okay, and uh, protect it. And I'm also going to spray these seals with um, something equivalent to a, a car protectant for rubber. Um, I've got some uh, stuff that I'm going to use on them, kind of like armor also, to treat those seals and hopefully keep them from getting uh, stiff. So anyway, uh, we'll do another video on this when I'm done drilling the holes here and then getting this uh, where I want it to get it. Okay, go ahead and stop the video.